Hello friends, welcome to the developers planet. In last video we discuss about Django CRUD operation and in this video we are going to discuss about Django REST framework. So this is the first part of Django REST framework tutorial. In this video we will follow the official website of Django REST framework and from there we will create an application which will show how REST API works in Django REST framework. So this is the official website Django REST framework and in this website uh, we have so many tutorials, serialization, request response, everything and we have API guide as well. You can clear your doubts for any of the mentioned topics and we have some topics also documentation, API clients, internationalization and all and we have huge community as well. Uh, there you will get all the announcement. So in this video, I will provide the overview of Django REST framework. From next videos, we will create, start with serialization and all. So we will follow quick start in this video only. So let's understand what is Django REST framework. So Django REST framework is a powerful and flexible toolkit for building web APIs. So there are some reasons why we should use Django REST framework. The very first reason is web browsable API. Let me show you this. Let's click on this. So web browser, web browsable API means you can, you know, use your API or you can access your API through browser as well. You don't need any third party application like Postman and all. So here we were having the snippet link and we clicked on it. We can get the details here. Now let's click on this users. When we click on users, we will get the list of the users. So we can easily access the API through web browser so this was one of the reason of using Django REST framework and the second is authentication policy serialization we will discuss about serialization later and customization all the way down we can customize extensive documentation as you know the doc Django has also very great documents so these are the things and what are the requirements we need before using this Django REST framework so it says Python and Django we should have Python uh, version more than 3.5 we should install and Django more than 2.2 words in and this is some details here given okay let's move on so how we how we install uh, Django REST framework simple pip command pip install Django REST framework in this uh, by using this command we can install in our windows and we can get the you know we can clone the code from github as well So after installing, we just need to mention the REST, frame, REST underscore framework in our uh, settings.py file under installed apps array. So here we have the example and uh, we have the code. So we will, uh, we will uh, you know, focus on this quick start tutorial. So we will go to this quick start guide link and we will complete this quick start guide process and we will create a project using this link. So let's go there. So it, it tells how we can do project setup and all. So we will create a simple API to allow admin users to view and edit the users and groups in the system. So we will uh, simply use that users and groups and we will create an API to add or delete or update that. So this is the project setup. So now we will follow this and uh, we will create a tutorial folder. So let's open folder and so we are inside d drive and django rest framework folder so let's create a tutorial folder here so we will open command prompt here just type cmt enter and command prompt write mkdir for make directory and tutorial yes so it has created a tutorial folder there now let's jump inside this tutorial folder okay so now we are inside this tutorial folder and now what we need to do is we need to create a virtual environment so i have already created a video you can get the link in description so you will understand how to install virtual environment and what is the use of that virtual environment so let's create a virtual environment and i'm not using exact command from here i will use virtual env now the name of the virtual environment I'm going to give venv so it will create a folder with name venv and inside this all the recommended files and things will be there so yeah it's using base prefix path 
meanwhile let me show you inside this tutorial folder yes so we are we are having this venv folder so this is our virtual environment folder so all the important files are getting installed there okay so virtual environment is created let's go inside venv slash scripts there is activate file in that which will activate the virtual environment so we will type activate yes so now we are inside virtual environment venv so it is an isolated place where we will install our django rest framework or everything okay so this is the way how we activated our virtual environment now let's install django in this virtual environment so pip install django hit enter and it's installing django in our virtual environment okay so it's done so django is installed in our virtual let's install django rest framework so pip install django rest framework and here we go yes django rest framework also get installed so now set up a new project with a single application so we will create a project in django so i have already created a video how we create a project and all you can get the link in the description for that as well so django admin start project and the name of the project so here we are creating the project inside this tutorial parallel to virtual environment so django admin start project tutorial just we will hit enter and yes you will get a new folder so this is our main project of django with some five files inside that folder and the manage.py file okay so now we will create an app so the name of the app will be quick start before that we need to go inside this tutorial project so we are inside tutorial project now and now we can use that manage.py file also so how to create an app django admin start app quick start we can also write python manage.py start app so yeah this is quick start our app is created so you will get more detail about what is app and project everything in uh, my other video so i have given the link in description so django admin start app so we have created an a project with name tutorial and an app with name quick start so this is this is our project tutorial and this is our app quick start okay so now we will do migration so django itself uh, comes with so many migration files which creates authentication and other migration files so now when we will hit this command python manage.py migrate it will migrate all these uh, files and will create the tables in our sqlite 3 uh, database which is predefined by default comes with django so it has created all the tables now now we will create super user okay so so before creating super user let's run our project python manage.py run server let's see whether everything is fine or not so let's see it okay so it's running fine on 127.0.0.8000 yes so our django is running properly okay so now let's go to admin panel okay so we don't have username or password yet we don't know about that so we need to create a super user so let's copy this python manage.py create super user now it will ask for username if you will not provide it will give a default name of your system then email address just for dummy purpose i'm giving an email address password so admin i have given password again okay strong okay admin okay so it's fine let's keep it yes uh, we don't want any validation okay so created super user successfully okay now again run the server python manage.py run server and yeah it's running fine again let's go there and refresh it okay username is admin password let me give admin login oh so yes now we are inside the admin panel we have logged in so we can see users and groups here when you will click on users you are getting one user admin which we just have created a super user so this is one way through which we are getting users and groups through admin but we want to create api for the same so let's understand how we can do this so first we will uh, learn need to learn about serializers 
सो सीरियलाइजर्स आर काइंड ऑफ फॉर्म्स लाइक फॉर्म्स इन जेंगो सो सीरियलाइजर्स इन रेस्ट एपीआई सो लेट्स कॉपी दिस एंड क्रिएट अ फाइल सीरियलाइजर्स डॉट पी वाई इन साइड आर क्विक स्टार्ट एप सो आई एम गोइंग टू विजुअल स्टूडियो कोड ओपनिंग फोल्डर ऑफ आर अ प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज ट्यूटोरियल सो यस सो आई विल ओपन दिस प्रोजेक्ट हेयर सेलेक्ट फोल्डर यस इट इज हेयर ट्यूटोरियल ओके इन साइड दैट क्विक स्टार्ट सो लेट्स गो इन साइड दिस क्विक स्टार्ट एंड क्रिएट अ न्यू फाइल दैट इज सीरियलाइजर्स डॉट पी वाई फाइल सीरियलाइजर्स डॉट पी वाई ओके येस इट्स क्रिएटेड जस्ट कॉपी पे पेज दिस कोड एंड लेट मी मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज दिस कोड अबाउट सो वी आर इम्पोर्टिंग यूजर एंड ग्रुप फ्रॉम आर ऑथ मॉडल्स ओके एंड वी आर ऑल्सो इम्पोर्टिंग सीरियलाइजर सो वी आर क्रिएटिंग यूजर सीरियलाइजर एंड वी आर यूजिंग हाइपर लिंक्ड मॉडल सीरियलाइजर सो दैट वी कैन यूज वेब ब्राउजेबल ए पी आई सो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट दिस इन लेटर वीडियोज एंड द मॉडल वी आर यूजिंग फॉर दिस इज यूजर एंड द फील्ड्स वी आर यूजिंग यूजर नेम ई मेल ग्रुप्स एंड यू आर एल एंड यू आर एल वी आर टेकिंग फॉर हाइपर लिंक सो इट विल क्रिएट यू आर एल फॉर ईच ए पी आई ओके सो नाउ वी विल क्रिएट अ व्यूज सो वट व्यूज विल डू इट विल हेल्प अस इन डिफाइनिंग द फंक्शंस and everything so let's copy this and i will make you understand about this code let's paste it here okay so we are importing user and group models and view sets from rest framework and permissions also so that our authenticated person only can access and we are importing user serializer and group serializer what serializers we have uh, created just now in our serializers this one so we are importing these files also these classes also sorry so we are creating a view set so user view set and group view set so so i will uh, tell you more about the view sets in in future videos just for quick start understand that so we are creating a query set and we are getting all the data of user uh, on behalf order by date join and uh, we have serializer class provided user serializer and the permission so we are providing permission is authenticated so only authenticate person only can access these apis okay so this we have done so uh, okay we are using view set i will tell you in detail about the view sets in uh, future videos so now we need to make changes in our urls.py so in main projects urls.py so in our tutorial uh, project we have a file urls.py let's copy paste this code okay whole code and let's go to urls.py of tutorial urls.py let's paste it here and okay paste it here we don't have admin in our new code that's why i have not overread this code let's copy paste this admin part below we want to we need to provide that admin yeah so we did that okay and uh, thing everything is fine views routers okay yeah so our urls is done and uh, we have created urls and so when uh, we will provide an empty path as you can see above yes this one so it will go to router dot url so above we have defined the routers so default router we are using and in routers we are registering users for that users we will go to views user view set and for the group we will go to group view set okay so let's understand more about the view set here so because we were using view set instead of views we can automatically generate the url Uh, for our API, so we don't need to provide a uh, add, edit, or update, delete every every API. So it will take care of itself. Okay, so so these are the things and uh, authentication we have already provided. So we are not going to do pagination for now. And uh, okay, so in our settings we need to provide this rest underscore framework. So we forgot to mention that so we will go to tutorial settings dot py here we need to provide rest framework and one more thing it's not uh, given in uh, official website but we need to provide this quick start also so we need to mention this app as well in our installed app so let me mention this quick start so that's it so okay we are getting an error okay 
so it says tutorial dot no module name tutorial dot I think okay in line four of urls dot py let's go to urls dot py line four okay so I think I need to remove this tutorial from here and let's go to views also remove this tutorial dot let's by while importing so again it's reloading okay yeah so now it's working fine let's go to our browser at 127.0.0.18000 okay so it's working fine now you can see we are getting users link or and groups links also just click on users so it's saying authentication credentials were not provided so let's go to login here on right side on top let's provide admin admin login and let's see okay let's do it again admin and password admin login yeah so yes we have logged in as admin getting option of logout let's click on that okay so now we got the uh, our users so admin so let's add one more user here say Ravi Ravi at gmail.com so we don't have any option for groups because we have not created so let's refresh it or click on this get so we will refresh and we got our new user so let's go to groups we don't have any groups till now let's create a manager group here post so we got the manager group now when we again will go on users we will be getting an option to add the group as well so yes here we are getting so this is the very basic tutorial about the Django REST framework so so in next video we will discuss about serialization API view view sets generic view and how we will do authentication with our APIs so everything you will get there so see you soon in next video take care and bye bye